Power BI Desktop versus Excel. When I say Power BI, I mean two things really. There's a tool called Power BI Desktop, which you can download, which does visualizations. And then Power BI Online is where we publish all our reports. Now, if you look at this uh, slide, we have Excel to the left. Excel does ad hoc analysis for blending structured and unstructured data together for analysis in familiar spreadsheets. So we have a familiar spreadsheet and we're used to it. Then Power BI, on the other hand, is a visual drag and drop. So it has it does has data exploration and interaction capabilities, reporting on a free form canvas. So all we're doing is dragging and dropping into this free form canvas, and we have all our reports. Now, how do we transit from Excel to Power BI Desktop? The key for us is we need to understand that our trusty old Excel had some very beautiful tools. Yeah, we have functions, formulas, pivot table, charts, VBA, add-ins. Lots of interesting stuff that we've been using for all these years in Excel. Right, but now there is a new kid on the block. Now, this new kid on the block is not knocking off Excel. That's what many people need to understand. It is working with Excel, but the new kid on the block specializes in one thing. It specializes in visualizing the data. Custom visuals and reports, getting data, connecting to all sorts of data sources, and then giving you beautiful custom reports. Excel can give you custom reports as well, yes, but I mean, it's just out of the box. The Excel has all the charts and stuff that you have, and if you're very good with charts, you'll be able to create your own custom visuals. But the key thing is you need to be good to be able to do that in Excel. In Power BI Desktop, you don't need to be good. All you need to do is drag and drop. Now, the language, what is the engine behind these two, this, the Power BI Desktop? Well, the nice thing is the engine behind it is exactly the same new engine behind Excel. So we have Power Pivot and Power Query. Excel also has Power Pivot and Power Query. Now, obviously, that tells you something. To move to Power BI, you need to know Power Pivot, you need to know Power Query. And the nice thing is, once you learn it in Excel, it's the same thing you're going to use in Power BI. Now, Excel also has two Power View and Power Maps, especially if you have 2013 and 20, 2016, Excel 2016. So Power View, Power Maps, that works fine. Now. Power View is just a way of, it's a precursor to Power BI Desktop and Power Maps. But it really, even Power Maps is kind of discontinued and Microsoft are not going to support it anymore. So these two things, Excel and Power BI, how do you connect? They connect with the engine. The engine is Power Pivot and Power Query. I'm going to do a quick demo on Power Query so you see how powerful Power Query is. Power Pivot is your report model. You you build your reporting model. So uh, all the different connections and everything. You write formulas with DAX. There's a new language called DAX, Data Analysis Expressions. So there's the new language of writing all the formulas and coding that you need to be able to make Power Pivot work. So yes, there is DAX in Excel. You learn DAX in Excel. Now Power Query uses a language called M. M, I guess, was, is, is for mashup. You're yeah, mashing things up. You're yeah, bringing data from different places, mixing it up, and cleaning it, you're cleaning it, but in the process of cleaning it, you're automatically cleaning, so it's an auto clean. So next time you don't need to repeat. You remember what we said, the inefficiency of repeating and repeating, you don't need to do that, you're cleaning it automatically. So Power Query, very powerful. You bring in all your data from different sources, Facebook, bring data from Facebook, bring data from the net, bring data from Excel, bring data from Access, bring data from SQL Server, all of that, you mix it all up together, tell it how to mix it up using the M language, and then you push that to Power Pivot. Power Pivot receives that data and builds the data model. So connecting, how does, how does the sales data that I got from my text file connect with the uh, list of uh, sales reps that I, I collected from HR? How does that link? So that I can do a report by sales rep. I can do a revenue report by, a, by sales rep. So you see, I have two tables, one table of sales rep, one table of sales. Sales data comes from accounts, sales reps comes from somewhere else. How do I link them? That's what Power Pivot or Power Pivot does. And the formulas you can use to enhance your reporting is DAX. So that's the new language and that's what you need to learn. But the nice thing is once you learn it in Excel, it's easy to do in Power BI Desktop. So Power BI website. Now all these connect to Power BI website. So once you finish building your report in Power BI Desktop or Excel, you publish it on Power BI website. And once you publish, you'll be able to use dashboards, you'll be able to send a link to your report, and everybody gets to view your report and interact with your report all in one place. No need to send the thousands of emails you send out or the thousands of PowerPoints you send out. That's not the right way to work.
Thanks for watching another training video from Deep Brown Consulting. See you in the next video.